Come on, we praise the Lord in the name of Jesus. We thank the Father God in Jesus' mighty God's name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father God, pour that spirit on the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Now, battery. We thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father God, fill this place with your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let the anointing come down upon us, oh God. Yes, Lord. The anointing we need for this day, oh God, in yes, the name of Jesus. Yes, that Lord. when we go forth out, yes, when the word is falling to us, and we go out, Father God, let that anointing fall into the atmospheres yes, as we go. God. Yes, wherever Lord. we go in Jesus' mighty voice, name. Yes, yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. We know that everybody's state of mind right now, oh God, people's mind is set on the holidays, oh God. Yes. But Father God, let them not forget that you're the reason for the season, yes, Lord. Lord. Keep Lord you Jesus. in the midst of it, oh yes, God, in the God. name of Jesus. In the name God. of Jesus, yes, Lord. Let Thank us not be worried of anything, oh God. In the name but of always Jesus. give thanks in all things, oh God. Thank you, Lord. You tell us to count it all joy. Thank you, Father. Yes, when we fall into diverse temptations, yes, oh God. Oh God. You didn't say when we fall into an easy chair, oh God. Yes, God. Thank you. But you said when we fall into temptations, count it all joy because Lord, there's a purpose for that. In the name because of if we don't know how to handle troubles, oh God, yes, we Lord. won't know how to handle what you need us to do. Yes, because God. there's always troubles where we go to in do thy works, oh God. Jesus. And the purpose of that trouble is because of the anointing that's within us, oh yes, God. Yes, oh God. Yes, Lord. Thank so God. let that anointing flow in us, oh yes, God, Lord, because Jesus. it's you that sustain us. It's Thank you that Lord. keeps our foot on the solid rock yes, and it's called yes, Jesus yes, Christ yes, in yes, the name yes, of Jesus, yes. Lord. Yes, when the Lord. enemy try to come up against our mind, come up against different things, oh God, yes, it's God. because he knows that that anointing is so powerful, yes, he Father can't God. stand it. It begins to make him run. Yes, it begins yes, to make the demons flee in, in every direction in the name of Jesus, Jesus Lord. So let Jesus. that anointing flow in us, yes, oh, God. oh God. Let us not be ashamed of that anointing. Yes, let Lord. us not fear, oh God, because you didn't give us a spirit of fear. Yes, you God. gave us a spirit of love yes, and the power and of a sound mind, yes, oh God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God. So let us walk in it. Let us talk in it. Let yes, us Jesus. think in it. Yes, let Lord. us speak in it. In Thank the name you, of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For as we are your children, Thank we you, are Lord. created in your image, O oh God. Thank we you, will God. go forth and do what you told us to Thank do, O oh God. God. As long as we know you are for us, who can be against yes, us, O oh God? God. Thank you, Lord. Nobody can stop us, O oh God. Yes, because when you Jesus. instruct us to do a work, you also equip us to do yes, that work in the name of Jesus. And wherever we go, you will protect us, O God. In the name of Jesus. That's why we survive because you, you are with us, oh God. Let us always Lord. take knowledge of thee, Lord. Thank in Jesus', Jesus. mighty glorious name, we Thank praise thee. Bless the people, Lord. Yes, Bless God. the bishop and the first lady, Thank oh God. God. Just faithfully serving, Lord in Jesus. Not completely, Jesus. just faithfully serving, Thank Lord. You, oh and I know you got a great purpose for Thank them. You, they Jesus. might not see it right now, oh no God, God, but it's coming Thank in your Lord. time, oh God. In you got to come in and you got to come in to the fullness in Jesus' name. In abundance in the name of Jesus, you said. Thank you, Hallelujah, Lord, oh God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Psalm 68, verses 32 through 35, and we'll read those verses together. Psalm 68, 32 through 35. And you have it. 68. Psalm 68. Mm -hmm. 32 through 35. 32 through 35. And it reads, Sing unto God, ye kingdoms of the earth. O sing praises unto the Lord. To him that rideth upon the heavens of heaven, which were of old. Lo, he does send out his voice, and that a mighty voice. Ascribe ye strength unto God. His excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. O God, thou art terrible out of thy holy 
places. The God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be God. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader here and doer of his word. Truly we just thank and praise the Lord for being in his house one more time. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. We will rejoice and be glad in it. For the Lord has been good and gracious and kind. Uh, Minister Dewana was just talking about praying in her prayer. She was mentioning the fact for us not to forget the meaning of this season. And truly, all this week, my mind has just been going off and on thinking about the Lord, how awesome he is, how good he is, how kind he is. He's just a good God. And sometimes we neglect to invite him into our homes and to our worship and to our praise. So this morning, whether you're here or whether you're home, wherever you are, we just ask you to invite the presence of the Lord into your space, not just your natural home, but into your spiritual home. And we just ask you to join us for a few minutes as we welcome the Lord into this place. Welcome into this place. Welcome into this broken vessel. You desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands as we lift our hearts and we offer up this praise unto your name. Welcome into this place. Welcome into this broken vessel. You desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands as we lift our hearts and we offer up this praise unto your name. The earth declares your glory and the universe displays your majesty. Yet you choose to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands as we lift our hearts and we offer up this praise unto your name. The earth declares your glory and the universe displays your majesty. Yet you choose to abide in the presence of your people. So we lift our hands and we lift our hearts and we offer up this praise unto your name. Welcome into this place. Welcome into this broken vessel. You desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands and we lift our hearts as we offer up this praise unto your name. So we lift our hands as we lift our hearts and we offer up this praise unto your name. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. And 
I can search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. And I can search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none. There is none. There is none like you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The sun says, there is none like you. And I don't know about y'all this morning, but God, my God, is an awesome God. He can do what no man can do. He can open doors. No man can close. He can close doors. No man can open. Only an awesome God can do those things. Amen. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever he will reign. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome, heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weakened, forever he will reign. My God is awesome, 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 my God is awesome. <coughs> Awesome, 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 my God is awesome, Savior of the whole world, giver of salvation, by His stripes I am healed. My God is awesome, today I am forgiven, His grace is why I'm living, praise His holy name. And my God is awesome, 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 my God is awesome. He's awesome, awesome, he's awesome, my God is awesome, he can move mountains, keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain, my God is awesome, heals me when I'm broken, Strength where I've been weakened, forever he will reign. And my God is awesome, 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 awesome. My God is awesome, he's awesome, he's awesome. Awesome, my God is awesome, Savior of the whole world, giver of salvation, by His stripes I am healed. My God is awesome, today I am forgiven, His grace is why I'm living, praise His holy name. My God is awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. My God is awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. 
He's awesome. We do serve an awesome God. Amen. And we are here today to give him praise. Yes. And lift up his most holy yes, God. and righteous name. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank the Lord for the prayer, the scripture reading, and our devotional songs. Thank you, Lord. We are serving a mighty God. Thank you, In Lord. Him we move, yes. breathe, and have our being. Yes, Lord. Today we would uh, like you to turn to the book of Acts. This is the Acts of the Apostles. Mm -hmm. Some call it the Acts of the Holy Ghost. And we would like you to look at, if you will, the 27th chapter and verse number 30 through 32. We were talking upon this Wednesday night in our mm -hmm. Bible study. Yes, and we're going to continue along this same line today. Yes, Acts 27 and 30 reads, And as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, they had let down the boat into the sea under color, mm -hmm. as though they would have cast anchors out of the foreship. Mm -hmm. Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, Except these abide in the ship, mm -hmm. ye cannot be saved. Mm -hmm. Then the soldiers cut off the ropes mm -hmm. of the boat and let her fall off. Mm -hmm. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. Thank you, God. We want to look at that 32nd verse for our thought. Where it says, when the soldiers cut off the ropes of the boat mm -hmm. and let her fall off. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to talk about today. Cut mm -hmm. the ropes. Cut the ropes. Mm -hmm. uh, today, Paul and the soldiers had been in a terrible storm. And it had gotten so bad they were without hope. Mm -hmm. And the soldiers felt that there was no way they were going to survive staying on the ship. Mm -hmm. So the soldiers were going to abandon the ship. Mm -hmm. But Paul told them, except mm -hmm. ye abide in the ship. Yes, Lord. You cannot be saved. Yes, Lord. So what did they do? They heeded his word and cut the ropes mm -hmm. and let the boat fall off. Yes, now, a, a rope is a strong, thick cord that ties things together. Uh, note here, what connected the ship and the boat was the rope. Right. That's what connected them. Mm -hmm. Now, either way, if they had stayed in the boat or if they had stayed on the ship, the rope was going to have to be cut. If they had stayed in the boat, they would have cut the rope and left the ship. But what they did, they cut the rope and stayed on the ship. Mm -hmm. But we have to understand too many times people are trying to serve the Lord tied up by different things in their life. Uh, if you look at if you look at the rich young ruler, he asked the Lord, what must I do to inherit eternal life. Mm -hmm. 
And the Lord asked, did you keep the commandments? Yeah, I've kept the commandments from my youth. Mm -hmm. So he felt he was in good shape. Mm -hmm. But the Lord told him of one thing that was tying him up mm -hmm. that would keep him from doing the Lord's work. Mm -hmm. He told him, said, sell everything you have. Distribute it to the poor. Come and follow me. Yeah. That rope was too strong. Yeah. He did not cut that rope. And the Bible said he left sorrow. Mm -hmm. He left sorrow. Because that was something he was he was tied to that he couldn't let go. And we cannot be tied to the things of the world and still serve the Lord. Yeah. I mean, that's just not going to work. It's not going to work and it's just not going to be feasible for us. And that's what a lot of people are trying to do today. They're trying to serve the Lord and still tie it to the world. Now if you look in 1 Corinthians chapter number 10 and verse number 21. Look at this. It says, ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Mm -hmm. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table mm -hmm. and of the table of devils. Mm -hmm. So he said you can't do both of them at the same time. Right. So we cannot hold on to habits, mm -hmm. sin, worldliness, lust, and just because you go to church on Sunday and sing and get emotional, mm -hmm. you think you're serving the Lord. No, you're still tied to that thing you're doing during the week. That has to be cut off. The Bible tells us clearly, no man can serve two masters. Mm -hmm. You're going to love the one and you're going to hate the other. So we have to get to the place where we understand you cannot do both things at the same time. Mm -hmm. But that's what so many Christians are trying to do now. They're trying to serve the Lord and still stay in the world, keep their same lifestyle going. If if you change, your life has to change. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now let's look at let's look at let's look at this. Look at St. Mark chapter number eleven. Well let's look at this for a minute. Here Jesus is telling his disciples, he's getting ready to go into Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. He's getting ready to make his triumphal entry. Mm -hmm. Now look what he says. He's telling his disciples, go, and this is uh, Mark 11 and 2. He says, go your way mm -hmm. into the village. Mm -hmm over against you and as soon as ye be entered into it ye shall find a coat tied mm -hmm. whereon never man set mm -hmm. loose him and bring him to me mm -hmm. if any man say unto you why do ye this say ye that the Lord hath need of him mm -hmm. straightway he will send him hither and they went their way and found the coat tied by the door without in a place where two ways meet. Now look where was that where was that coat tied up? He was tied up in a place that could go either way. Mm -hmm. He was tied up. There was either way he could go. Mm -hmm. What did the Lord tell him? The Lord said, loose him. In other words, he can't stay here. For me to use it, he's going to have to go the way I want him to go. Mm -hmm. And that's where you got a lot of people now. They trying to come to church, be Christians, be saved, but they tied up mm -hmm. in two different lifestyles. No, he said, no, 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 no. Lucy, mm -hmm. tell whoever asks, I need him. God cannot use us if we are too tied up with the world and worldliness. A lot of times we're tied up in things and a lot of times people have been tied to things that they should have cut loose a long time ago. Mm -hmm. 
They've been tied to a relationship. They've been tied to all kinds of things that's not doing them no good, but they will not cut these things loose. It's time to cut the ropes and let them fall off. And this is where we have to understand. We have to make a decision on what we're going to do. Right. Now look at this. If you go back to the book of Genesis, look at Lot and his family. Mm -hmm. He was told to come out of Sodom, yeah. get to the mountain, and escape for his life. Mm -hmm. But now, what was he told? Him and his family were told to do. He said, escape and don't look back. That's, that was his instruction. Mm -hmm. What happened to Lot's wife? Her mind had, she had left out of Sodom, but her mind was still in Sodom. So what did she do? She looked back. Mm -hmm. Her progress stopped right there. Mm -hmm. That's what that pillar of salt represents. Mm -hmm. God could have destroyed her right there. She could have fell dead, but she turned to a pillar of salt. Yeah. That means her progress, everything going forward, stopped right then. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have to do. If we don't get our minds situated to serve the Lord, we're not going to make any progress. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are in churches, have been in churches for years, call themselves serving the Lord. They're doing nothing but running in place. They're not going anywhere. It's just wasted motion because they're tied up to things that cannot help them. He told them to cut that rope. We got to cut loose things like being religious. Religion is nothing but a duty. That's not going to save you. Organization is not going to save you. Titles is not going to save you. Working in ministry is not going to save you. You have to be founded. You have to be settled in Jesus Christ. That's the only thing going to save you. That's the only thing that's going to save any of us. And, 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 and if you look at the fourth chapter of St. Mark, when they were getting ready, to, Jesus was taking his disciples out, and they were getting ready to run into the storm. The disciples were on the ship with Jesus, but the Bible says in that fourth chapter, in verse 36, there were other little ships. Mm -hmm. And that's what you got a lot of people piling into now, little ships mm -hmm. that's not going to survive this storm. They're not going to make it because these little ships, and once they said there were other little ships, you didn't hear no more about them. These ships were not going to make it in the storm. You got to have Jesus. Yeah. What do you mean when you say you got to have Jesus? You have to have Christ on the inside. Yes, Lord. To be saved, you need his spirit on the inside. Yes, the Bible said if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Yes. Now the Bible said if you abide in me, in my word abiding you, you can ask what you will and it will be done. Mm -hmm. What is the criteria? You have to abide in him and his word has to abide in you. Abide means to stay. Mm -hmm. That's the key right there. Mm -hmm. And then if you, if you look at this, if we can get in Christ, you have to be willing to cut loose all the things that happened in your past. That's what haunts a lot of people. And sometimes a lot of people bring up, well, well, I remember when you did this, and I remember when you used to do that. Now you're trying to act like you all saved and all. I'm not trying to act like anything. I am saved. But a lot of times people want to bring up your past. They want to talk about what you used to do, things that you had done in the past just because they don't want to get right. But let's look at this. Let's look at what the Bible says about this. If you look over to Romans, and I like anything I say, I like to give scripture. Romans chapter number 8, verse number 1. Now watch this. There is therefore now mm -hmm. no condemnation to them which are in 
Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. There is therefore now no condemnation mm -hmm. to them that are in Christ Jesus, yes. who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So once we become spiritual, we do not have to walk after the flesh. Well, what do I have to do about the flesh? I have to cut the rope to that. Yeah. The Bible says we're no longer debtors to the flesh. You don't owe your flesh anything. Mm -hmm. Once we get in the Lord, once we start cutting those ropes, what happens then? We become free. We become free. Mm -hmm. You shall know the truth. And what does the truth do to you? Sets or makes you free. Yeah. And a lot of people are not free because they're tied up. They, 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 they can't be free in their worship. They can't be free in their service. Mm -hmm. They can't be free in their mental health. They can't be free in their spirit because there are too many things that have them tied up. And you don't want to let go of them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes those things closest to you are some of the things you need to be free of. And if we can get to the place where we can free ourselves, and see a lot of times God wants to work on our behalf. He can't work on our behalf because we're too tied up. The things that prohibit him from moving in our faith. But if we can cut those ropes loose and let the Bible said that when those men cut the rope, they let that boat fall off. There's a lot of things. The Bible tells us lay aside every weight and the sin. He didn't say just sin. He said the sin. What is the sin? The sin is unbelief. You got to lay aside every weight. Everything is not a sin, but it's a weight. It's not a sin, but it's going to hold you back. It's not a sin, but it will slow you down. It's not a sin, but it will hinder your progress. And these are things we have to get rid of so we can move forward and serve the Lord. If we can do these things, God is there to uphold us, to bless us, to strengthen us, to make us what He would have us to be. If we can understand these things, if we can get these things in our mind. But a lot of times the flesh keeps us holding on to things that we need to let go. Mm -hmm. if, we can, if we can break through there and let those things go, God is ready to move. He, 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 he gave me this message this morning to let those of you that are listening. It's time to cut the rope. It's time to cut loose these things we have been... And this is no mystery. You know what it is. You know what the problem is. You know what it is. Cut it loose. But it's something in us that makes us want to hope. Well, maybe if I hold on to so-and-so, he'll get better. Honey, it's time to cut the rules. It's time to move forward. It's time to move on with our lives. We pray that something has been said this morning to help you along your way that will be a blessing to you, that will encourage your heart and your mind in our walk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. If we can continue to do that, we can continue to have blessings. Mm -hmm. At this time, we're going to get ready to go into our communion service. We are going to read our scripture, which you will find in First Corinthians chapter number 11. And we will start reading at verse number 20. It says, When ye come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, everyone taketh before other his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunk. What? Have ye not houses to eat and to drink in, or despise ye the church of God? And shame them that have not. What shall I say to you? 
Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup, and he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. He that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. And the Lord add a blessing to the reading hearers and doers of his word. Now we will begin now and we will receive the Lord's Supper. This is the bread, this is the body of the Lord that was broken for us. Jesus that was shed for our sin. Yes. Amen. We thank God for the communion service upon today. We thank the Lord for those of you that were that were able to join us this morning for the service. We pray that something has been said, something was done to help you and enlighten you in this service. Right now, we will get ready to hear our announcements. Our announcements are as follows. We invite you to join us every Sunday at 1215 in the Hallmark Meridian Community Room, 59 Central Avenue. And that's at 1215. We invite you to come out, bring someone with you, or just tune in if you can't come out or you know, don't live in this area. We invite you to join us via live stream. Also, every Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m., we invite you to join uh, Bishop Locus along with Greater Destiny Ministry Bible Study. Again, we invite you to tune in. Invite others to join. Grab your Bibles as we learn and study the Word of God together. Also, we uh, invite you to go to Bishop Locus's uh, YouTube channel. There you can find over a hundred plus um, sermons that he's preached as long as lessons that, that have been taught. And these, if you go on there, I can guarantee you that you will find something that will be an encouragement to you and will uplift your soul. And lastly, if you would like to be a blessing to this ministry, please feel free to do so. You can do that via Cash App, Dollar Sign Ministry 2021. Again, that's Dollar Sign Ministry 2021. These are our announcements. Let us govern ourselves accordingly. All right. We thank the Lord for our announcements. And we pray that you will join us, continue to join us in our services. Now, join us again on Sunday at 12.15 for our Sunday morning service, Wednesday night. Come on, join us. For Bible study. We thank God for you and we want you to pray for us. Continue to pray for us and we will pray for you. God bless you.